What's up everyone, I'm Max Dalton and in this video I'll show you how to set up your Apple Digital Legacy on your iPhone or iPad. With people living more of their life through and storing more personal data on their smart devices, it's becoming critical that we plan to give someone access to the information on our devices after we die. In support of this, Apple introduced the ability for iPhone and iPad users to set up their Apple Digital Legacy. When you set up your Apple Digital Legacy, you assign one or more contacts who will have the ability to access photos, messages, notes, files, contacts, apps, device backups, and other sensitive information on your device after you die. When you set up an Apple Digital Legacy contact, they will be given an access key. In the event of your death, those contacts will need to provide that access key and a copy of your death certificate to access the personal information on your iPhone or iPad. Now let's walk through the steps to set up your Apple Digital Legacy on your iPhone or iPad. Step 1. Tap to launch the Settings app on your Apple iPhone or iPad and then tap the section featuring your Apple ID name and profile picture at the top of the Settings menu. The Apple ID screen is displayed. Step 2. Tap Password and Security. The Password and Security screen is shown. Step 3. Tap Legacy Contact in this menu. The Legacy Contact screen is displayed. Step 4. Tap Add Legacy Contact in the Your Legacy Contact section. You'll land on the Legacy Contact screen, where you'll get an overview of what the Apple Digital Legacy program is. Again, the Apple Digital Legacy program lets you give someone you trust the ability to access your data after you pass away. Step 5. Tap Add Legacy Contact on this screen. The Add Legacy Contact screen is shown where you'll have the ability to choose from a list with people set up in your Apple family to make them your digital legacy contact, or you'll have the ability to choose someone from your contact list. Step 6. In this example, I'll choose someone in my Apple family to add as a contact. Alternatively, if you choose to add someone from your contact list, you'll have to choose either their email address or phone number to use for that person before moving on. You'll land on the Access to Your Digital Legacy screen, where you'll be notified that the individual you're adding will have access to the data stored in your account after your death, which includes photos, messages, notes, files, contacts, apps, device backups, and more. Importantly, your Apple Digital Legacy contact will not be able to access your iCloud keychain or any licensed media. Step 7. Tap Continue. The next screen will ask how you want to share your access key. Depending on the type of contact you chose, you'll see the option to either share the access key through a text message or a print copy. It's important to note that you will see one of these options, but you may not see both. Step 8. In this example, I'll choose to share my access key through a print copy and will send it to my printer. After you either print or send your access key, you'll be routed to a screen letting you know that your legacy contact has been added, along with a note that your birth date will be required for your contact to access your information. As a result, you'll have the option to update your birth date if you need to. Step 9. Tap Done when you're finished. You'll be taken to the Legacy Contact screen where you'll now see your Apple Digital Legacy Contact has been added. And finally, in the event you ever need to remove someone you added as an Apple Digital Legacy Contact, you can navigate back to the Legacy Contact screen, tap the person you want to remove, and then tap Remove Contact on the next screen. Let me know if this video helped you out in the comments below. If you liked what you saw here, Click the video links on the right side of the screen to check out another video. Or click the logo on the left side of the screen to check out my tutorial website at www.maxdalton.how.